For more on the AI power build out, we're joined by Bloom Energy CEO KR Sridhar. Uh, KR, it's great to have you on. Um, you know, it's understandable that investors are impatient to try and gain leverage to this massive trend, and everybody keeps having higher estimates of the power needs. The street is pushing back and saying, look, it can only happen so quickly in terms of the, the build out, the pipeline of where you can actually deploy. So how do you uh, characterize where you are in that process? So two or three things, right? Thank you for having me. The first point is this trend in AI and the spending and the infrastructure build and the benefits we're going to get is secular. It's going to last for a long time, number one. Number two, the immediate need for building the data center infrastructure between now and 2030 is going to be availability of power. This is on-site power in very, very large quantities, 50, 100 megawatts concentrated in a data center. And just today, the U.S. Secretary of Energy, Chris Wright, said between now and 2030, we need 100 gigawatts of firm, reliable power. That's not just going to come from the grid. A portion of it will come from the grid. The rest of it has to be on-site power. That on-site power powering these data centers is necessary because if you just look at the hyperscalers and their investments in the U.S. in the year 2025, it's closer to $2 billion of CapEx every single day, weekday and weekend. All that infrastructure, all that CapEx needs power and lots of them. And that's where we come in. We are the best choice for on-site power. And we have a technology mode bigger than anybody else. And we are the right solution at the right time for this vital pro uh, uh, project and program that's important for the country and the world. The demand, so as you say, is, is there, at least in terms of stated commitments. I guess the question, though, is how quickly you actually can service the demand. I think that's the nature of some of the, the uh, you know, maybe a little bit of the uh, skepticism out there, at least in terms of relative to how high the, the company's valuation has gotten and, and whether revenues can track accordingly. So I think just uh, a, a month and a half ago during our earnings call, we announced our first installation on one data center for Oracle. And we publicly made the statement within 90 days, we will have power from the day of signing. I can re reiterate that statement right here. We are halfway into that. And we absolutely will have that capacity available to Oracle within those 90 days. So that's the speed at which we operate. We operate at AI speed. And whether the rest of the infrastructure, in terms of the buildings, in terms of the uh, data center itself being ready, is going to uh, come at that speed, I can't speak to that. But what Bloom offers, which is unique in this sector, is firm, reliable power that's clean, on-site, mm -hmm. at a cost-effective manner, for the data center, but the most important thing, time to power, nobody can beat us on that. The downgrade today from Jeffrey's KR specifically cites just lack of visibility into 2027, beyond 2026. Year end 2026 is when you are forecasting that you're going to double your manufacturing capacity from one to two gigawatts. Um, can you give us an idea of whether or not you'd be, or when you will be at 100% utilization of that additional? Uh, doubling of the capacity. There's also this notion that there, you could go up to five gigawatts also in the future. So here's what we do. We are, we have, if you watched how we have built our factory and our factory capacity, we've been extremely deliberate. We don't get ahead of our headlights and we build capacity when we see the demand. We see a robust pipeline and more importantly, we see the fundamentals of the business and we see where that supply demand gap is going to be. It's only going to widen over the next five years. And that widening, the only solution that's going to solve that problem is on-site power. When you take those into account, then you look at engines, turbines, and fuel cells. And compared to a turbine, a 50 megawatt class turbine that'll be located on site, 
giving about 37% efficiency. By the time it is made appropriate for the data center, which is a low voltage DC, it's somewhere in the 30%. We are 75% better because of our technology in providing the same amount of power. So you take 100 megawatt hours of gas, we will be 75, we, we can provide the data center 75% more power. This we, is a game where we have inherent advantage because of our technology. Here's, here's, the, technology. here's the thing, Kay.